All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we have a 2013 Ram 1500 Outdoorsman here today, and uh, this is the 5.7 Hemi. It is not here for uh, anything related to the engine, but what we have is a complaint. This is a good friend of mine, actually, and his complaint on the truck is that he was driving it home uh, from a place up in New York, and it was a good long ride, and the ABS warning lights came on, brake light came on obviously with it, um, along with a cruise control that cut off on him while he was driving. Now, uh, the point of this video honestly is that when you're doing any kind of diagnostic work, you have to try to make sense of things and put two and two together, okay? That's a big part of you know doing this type of work, common sense and that sort of thing. Now, uh, the truck was left here this morning before I came in, and I wanted to move it out of the way uh, to a different location, and then come out and scan test it and all that stuff. So, I got in the truck, and what I'll show you here, if I could work my camera, <clears throat> for those who aren't familiar, here's your shifter. I think this is a brilliant design, but uh, there's your shifter. <clears throat> now what I noticed is I put it in reverse and I lit off the brake and when I did so the the truck went back into park on its own. The light started flashing and you could feel it visibly as soon as I lit off the brake and it attempted to move it went into park. Um, so anyway I had my thoughts on you know what was going on with it uh, an input of some sort that it didn't like or what have you or a code that was set whatever so I scan tested it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I have in the system. So let's do this. I'm going to try to do this without getting too much glare, but I don't know how good that's going to work out because it's me. Uh, let's see, hopefully, hopefully you guys can see this without too much glare. I don't know. In any case, I'll read it to you. Uh, in my transmission. I had a U1477 and a uh, P1915. One is implausible paddle shift data received. The other one is transmission inhibited remote start. Uh, Anti-lock brakes C0031-2F. That is a left front uh, wheel sensor erratic. Um, <clears throat> I have an occupant restraint module that has a U1110, uh, which is lost vehicle speed message. A drivetrain control module with a U0415 and plausible data received from ABS. And I think there was another one. Yeah, a U14, uh, U415 rather, uh, in the integrated trailer brake module. Uh, and what else? Uh, P0579, which is speed control switch one performance. Uh, that one. That one may have something to do with a bad switch at the cruise control or a wiring issue or something up in the steering column. Uh, this is at least my initial thoughts. What I did was I wanted to road test the truck. I cleared the codes on it and I was able to put this thing in gear and take it for a ride. And what I did was I wanted to monitor my ABS data because again, putting two and two together, um, I feel that if you have a bad speed input right vehicle you know wheel speed input that it can start throwing things off and make things crazy right so it'll shut the cruise control off if it doesn't see the right input so it's all safety measures right so at that point take the car for a ride road test it for a good half hour uh, I went down the highway I wanted it to get hot and run for a while and you know the bearings to heat up and all that type of stuff and see if I had a glitch now Obviously, I can put the Pico on here, uh, set it all up and drive it that way, but I, you know, I've had a lot of luck doing it with just uh, scan data and, you know, catching the glitch, record it, see what's going on. In any case, I drove the hell out of this thing, I had the cruise control on, I tried to meet the same uh, parameters that he had when the, when the vehicle acted up. I had bumps with it, all that sort of thing. It didn't miss a beat, I didn't hear anything, I didn't hear any noise, I didn't see any problems, uh, nothing at all. So, also, I don't have any code set at this point, okay? I came back, and, uh, <clears throat> I came back, and I decided to do a quick visual inspection 
on the truck. So when I came back, I decided to do a quick visual inspection on the truck. I jacked it up. I wanted to take a look at the harness for the left front wheel speed sensor, make sure that nothing was touching, rubbing, intermittently shorting, whatever. And when I jacked it up, of course, I checked for play in the front and the wheel, as I'll show you, showed the story, show, uh, told us the story. So as you can see here, We have, a, uh, we have a hub bearing that's shot on this car, on this truck. And again, this thing showed no indication uh, as far as noise or anything like that, even hitting bumps, I didn't hear any noise, uh, no grinding, nothing like that. So the point of this is use common sense when diagnosing, uh, do visual inspections, they're very important. and fix what's broke so <clears throat> I do not know if that the one the one thing that I'm not sure of is the code that I had for the uh, switch up in the steering wheel I'm not sure about that that may be another issue uh, but the first thing I'm gonna fix is the wheel bearing then I'm gonna drive it some more and we're gonna see if anything happens if anything sets and uh, at that point if not I will be giving it back to the customer and uh, if something comes up in the future, we'll address it. But the hub bearing is the most important thing right now for safety and for fixing the ABS um, intermittent or erratic signal. So I uh, just, you know, figured I would pass this along. Maybe it'll help somebody out. And uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.